Hi guys, it's Ray's Little Space, his little space, whatever you know me as. And I am super duper excited for today's video. It has been so heavily requested, you guys have no idea. Today I am going to be showing you all of my pacifiers in this pacifier collection video. So without further ado, let's get started. I have three full bins like this full of pacifiers. They go in my little rainbow drawer thingy and I have quite a few. So this might be a long video. First I am going to start off with my ASC brand pacifiers. This is the first one that I have which you guys have seen in previous videos. Probably my small birthday haul from a little over a year ago. This one has a green translucent shield and a blue button and it has a clear teat without reinforced sides. And then I'll show you the rest of the colors. They all have the same kind of teat. This one is one of my favorites. It is a transparent one. It is clear and I love that. This one I actually just got from a really good friend on Instagram for my birthday this year. It is the purple ASC one that has a little pink button and it is also translucent. And then I have this translucent pink one with the purple button and then this translucent blue one with a green button. Now we are moving on to my modified baby pacifiers. So all of these were baby pacifiers that I took apart and modified with an adult tee. So unless you go to one of the shops that specially sells modified pacifiers, but even then you might not be able to find some of these because I picked them all out like individually. So if you want to get passes like these, you'll have to find the same print and then go buy yourself some adult teats and mod them yourself. These two are some of my favorites. I believe they are a parent's choice brand and they came apart super easy to mod them and that is this primary colored one which I use all the time and I modded it with a clear teat with reinforced sides because that is the only teat that I like using. I do not like the cloudy baby pants teat. It's horrible in my personal opinion. So I have this primary colored one and then I have this one that is yellow, green, and blue which is also super duper cute. Now we are moving on to my modified mams. First up I have these two which are from a set together but what I ended up doing was buying one set just for the button because I like the button and then I bought the other set just for the shield because I didn't like the shield because it was like a small butterfly one and I wanted a bigger shield on these ones so I bought two packs mixed and matched them and this is what we got. I have this little one here which I don't think you can see but it is an elephant and it glows in the dark and it's super good. And then this button came in the same set and it is a star resting on top of a moon and it is also glow in the dark. And then for this glow in the dark one, I actually gave away a different modded pacifier in a giveaway that I held a little bit ago on my Adri Spam account crayons and pencils. But I decided to keep the other one because it's super cute and it's also glow in the dark. It has a clear shield and a little burn laying on a moon. These ones are also super cute. It is a little turtle with a green translucent shield and the shield actually also has little dots around the holes on it which is super cute. And then this one is from the same set. It is just like a green dotted pattern design with a translucent clear shield and more dots around it. These next few are not from sets. They're just individual little ones that I got somehow or another another that I love. I have this little translucent pink shield that has the most adorable little lamb on it. And then I got this one. I can't remember where I got this one, but it's got, it's pink and it's got a translucent shield and it's got a little giraffe in a butterfly. This one I actually made from spare passy parts I had. I think the centerpiece from this one came from one of the shields of the glow in the dark ones. And then I used one of the shields from the glow in the dark ones to use as the shield on this one. But it's just cute. It's got a little clear butterfly shield and it just says happy on it, which I really like. Then I have this one, which I actually did buy from a shop, but the only reason I bought it is because I couldn't find this actual MAM design 
anywhere else. And it's so cute and it's got a translucent yellow shield with a little sun on it and it's adorable. I call it my fun shine passy. It's one of my faves. And then this little one is perfect for my pup space. It has a gray silvery shield and it's got a little pupper on it, a little doggo. I also bought a bunch of these MAM adapter thingies off of eBay so I can put passy clips on. So all of my MAM pacifiers that have the button have one of these adapters so I don't have to switch them out every single time I go to use the passy. These next two sets are also MAMs but they are the same thing just different colors but I'm still going to show you. I have this pink one with a pink translucent butterfly shield and it says I heart daddy and then this is the little like cloudy shield one with a pink heart on it that came with it and then this set is the exact same except it's blue so I have a blue I heart daddy and a blue heart. I also have this modified Disney baby one. It is Sully from Monsters Inc. and I love it. And this one is the last modified baby pacifier I have and I know I'm gonna get tons of questions on how we modded it. Honestly, the answer is just brute force and a lot of work. My daddy did it for me. I didn't do it. I didn't see him do it. It was hard. We, it was really, really hard. I recommend modding mams and not nooks because nooks are so hard, but we ended up modding this nook which just has a little like blue circles on it and it's super cute. But it now has an adult teeth and modding nooks is super duper hard. So that is it for my modified ones. And now it is on to my plain adult pacifiers. As you can see I kind of have a rainbow and I think I'm just gonna show you like this because it's a little bit easier. So I have red, orange, yellow, this green which has a white button and handle and it's like more of a light springy green and then this green here is a mint green and then I've got like this baby blue one and I've got this little lilac purple one. And I have a dark purple one and I had a dark blue one as well but I took it apart and used a shield of it to change the shield on one of my deco pacifiers which I'll show you in a little bit. But then we've got this baby pink, white, black, and this coffee brown. And all of these pacifiers come with the original baby pants cloudy teat and I hate them. I hate them so much so I worked and changed all of the teats out to the good clear ones that I really love. So that's what was done. This is not the teat that these pacifiers came with, but it's the teat that they're gonna have for the rest of their existence with me. And then these are some of my favorite ones here on the bottom. They are the translucent shields with a glitter in them. I have a gold one. I also have a purpley pink one. And then these two are some of my favorites. It's like this teal aquamarine kind of blue and then this green one which I love. These next three are part of a set together that I got and these are sold as adult pacifiers. They come with the teat already on them and it is this three set of butterfly shields. If you can tell this one is a light blue, this one is like an ivory color, and this one is like a light pink. And then I have the same ones basically but with a little like smiley shield and what I love about these is that they have a clear handle and I love the clear handle. I specifically got these from Onesies Down Under because Onesies Down Under was the only place that had this style but with a clear handle instead of a handle the same color as the shield. But they have since discontinued them which is really sad so I don't think you can get them anymore. But they are available from a bunch of other places and like on eBay for super cheap with a colored handle. Now we are on to my deco pacifiers. The majority of them are from Onesies specific shop but I am not sure if the shop was still going or not but they turned out to be a bad shop so I'm not gonna give you the shop name but the other ones I think I only have one other one from not that shop and then one that a friend gave me but I will tell you where the one that wasn't from the bad shop is from so to start off I have this pretty little deco one with a heart charm and it's Sophia the first and it's just got a bunch of like light pink and purple embellishments around it and I also 
These also came with the baby pants tee, and I was very, very, very careful, and I took the deco passy apart so I could put the good teat in it so I could actually use the pacifier because I hate the baby pants teat. I will say that over and over again. It's awful. So you've got this cute little Sophia. I have this one which is Steven Universe. It has all the characters of Steven Universe on the button in the middle. It's got blue, mint, and light purple embellishments on it as well as this crystal heart on the side. And the handle, if you can't tell, it says the crystal gems. This next one is one of my favorites. It is Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service. So the embellishments on it are black, red, and purple, and it has a little red bow down here because Kiki wears a red bow. And the coolest thing about this one is that I was able to choose the picture in the cab for all of them, but the coolest thing is that I found this picture, which is the same picture that is printed on my Passy clip that's Kiki's delivery service. So it's hecka matchy. And it's super cute and it's great and I love it. This one is a little bit damaged. The cab got some water damage on it and the letters are kind of coming off so I don't really use it. I won't use it until I can fix it. But this is the first custom that I ever got. It actually has my main channel's YouTube logo on it, which is super cool. And it's on a mint green pacifier base with green and that silver embellishments and the bottom here just says youtubers because <laughs> me this one is also one of my favorites it is my slytherin passy it obviously has green and silver embellishments on it and the slytherin crest in the middle as well as this little deathly hollows charm hanging down from it which is amazing and then because i'm a coffee fiend and i already have a passy clip that has the logo on it i felt the need to get a starbucks themed pacifier it has white brown and green embellishments and it just has the Starbucks logo in the middle. <laughs> this is the only one I have that doesn't have like a picture printed cab and it is this one and it just says baby boy and it's decorated with silver white and light blue embellishments and there is a little baby bottle shrinky dink right down here. All of those ones I showed you before were customs but this one was actually like a listing one and I snagged it because I needed it. It was important and it was a handmade resin piece and it's a rainbow resin piece and I got a rainbow going on the shield and it just says gay AF cuz dat me though and I love this this is the passy that I have to go with my little pride onesie and it's wonderful this next passy I got from the shop JK baby somebody gifted it to me and I love it it is just a plain orange but it has some vinyl stickers and goodness on it with three little crayons primary color crayons it's great. And then this is the last pacifier of my collection. This one was given to me by a friend. It initially had a light blue shield, but I switched out my dark blue shield for it because I thought it looked better. It is this primary colored one with a little red airplane in the middle, and I thought that was super duper cute. Again, modded with the good teeth. In total, I have 55 adult pacifiers. That may seem a little bit much to you, but I I consider myself a connoisseur. I consider myself a collector. I love them. I use pacifiers all the time. They are one of my favorite little items. And I know you guys have been wanting to see this video for a very long time. And the only reason I didn't film it sooner was because I wanted to get all of the passies together that I really wanted and I wanted to have a good collection to show you. Now I am pretty happy with where my collection is and I don't know if I'll be getting any more pacifiers anytime soon so I figured it would be a good time to show you. So that is it! That was my pacifier collection. I super duper hope you enjoyed this video and seeing all of my passies. If you want to keep up with me more regularly you can follow me on my Instagrams and stuff down below. I also have a main channel that I post on once a week and I also have a vlog channel that sometimes has regression vlogs on it. So you can go check out both of those channels. They are linked in the description if you would like to subscribe to those as well. This onesie I am wearing is the Daddy's Little Boy one from Little Tude. It is so cute. It is so comfortable. I love it. If you would like to get yourself one, you can use my code Riley for 15% off. 
that is it. Subscribe if you would like to see more videos from little old me. And I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Goodbye. Okay, I know you thought the video was supposed to be done, but I was getting changed, packing everything back up, you know, like I do, and I forgot a passy. So I actually have 56 passies. The reason I forgot it is because it was sitting on my altar and it just wasn't with all of my other passies. So I have this one which has a bunch of silver baubles all over it and it has just a pentacle in the middle, which I absolutely love. It's perfect for me and my little witch side but okay yeah that's it I'm going for real this time bye guys